So here we are on the Col de Sacre, the military climb, as it's otherwise known. It's the 8th of December and it's about 17 degrees and I'm back in full summer gear. It got a bit cold and it snowed in the mountains uh, about a week ago, but the snow's all melted now and normal service is resumed. And what I thought I would do is just a quick review on this, um, on this cycle top. Now, you may or may not have heard of Café du Cycliste. It's a, it's a fairly new company that's based in Nice in south of France. And they've produced a range of really nice stuff that's, that's quite different. It's a little, bit, um, a little bit off the beaten track in terms of design and concept. And, and I really like it. And this particular top is called the Georgette. Uh, slightly effeminate name, but there we go. And it's a kind of technical merino um, material. And I'm, I've kind of always veered away from those a little bit because I've just preferred the standard kind of lycra aero top. Um, but this is quite a revelation because in these sort of mid temperatures, it controls your, your body temperature really quite well. It gives you that little bit of extra warmth when you need it. And yet when you're going for it, it, uh, it wicks away the, um, the sweat and you, you don't get too hot. So it works really well. And um, it's, it's a nice kind of tight aero design. It fits me well all over. This is a small. And um, the arms of this kind of sort of mesh material, which is, uh, you know, you either like it or you don't, but it's kind of, it's a bit different and it's, um, it hugs the arm quite nicely. And yeah, you know, overall, it's just a really high quality top. It's got good deep pockets um, at the back. I will show you those in a moment. And um, yeah, I mean, is it a Rafa Beta? Well, certainly the price is, is pretty similar. So it's gonna have to be up there in, in terms of performance. But, you know, so far, so far so good really. I, I really like it. It's my new kind of go-to top and I wash it with, with great care. <laughs> so um, yeah, you should check out their range. They've got some really quite funky designs and uh, their winter stuff especially is, looks, looks really good. And women's stuff, I mean, I think the women's designs are really great. You know, they've, um, there's not a great deal of nice stuff out there for women and uh, the stuff they do is actually really very good. So for your other half, if she cycles, Christmas is coming, could be a good idea. So is it worth splashing out on a high performance, expensive top like this? Well, I'm the last person that likes spending extra money if I don't have to. And if I'm gonna spend it, I wanna kind of get some value for that money. And I think this top delivers it. It's super comfy, um, really kind of cozy to put on. And I've worn it in sort of 20 degree plus conditions so far and it's my my fear with this kind of top was that it would be too hot but it's not at all the back is quite kind of meshy so um and the the material just controls temperature really well so yeah it's 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 all good really and uh i think it's nice to have a your best top that you you kind of reserve for your your best days and big races and stuff like that so yeah why not